Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can easily convert between dollars and cents, right? So one dollar equals 100 cents, right? One dollar equals 100 cents or in other words, 100 cents make a dollar. If you had to convert from dollars to cents, all you need to do is multiply the amount you have in dollars by 100. And if you had to convert cents to dollars, you need to divide the amount you have in cents by 100, right? So 100 is the conversion factor we're using simply because $1 is equal to 100 cents. In this example, how many cents are there in $2? That means you're converting dollars to cents. In order to do that, you need to multiply $2 by 100. Once you multiply $2 by 100, the answer you get is 200 cents. In the form of a hint, when you're multiplying by 100, you need to move the decimal point two spaces to the right, okay, because you're multiplying by 100. In this example, convert $5.20 to cents. So again, you're converting dollars to cents, you need to multiply by 100. So when you multiply $5.20 by 100, the answer you get is 520 cents. And as a hint, which I mentioned earlier, when you multiply by 100, you move the decimal point two spaces to the right. In this example, how many dollars are there in 340 cents? So this time, you need to convert cents to dollars. And in order to do that, you need to divide the amount you have in cents by 100. So when you divide 340 by 100, the answer you get is $3.40. And as a hint, when you are dividing by 100, you need to move the decimal point two spaces to the left. Convert 1,245 cents to dollars, right? So again, you're converting cents to dollars. So you will divide 1,245 cents by 100 and the answer you get is $12.45. Again, as a hint, when you are dividing by 100, you need to move the decimal point two spaces towards the left. And that is how you can easily uh, convert between dollars and cents, right? From dollars to cents, you need to multiply by 100 and from cents to dollars, you need to divide by 100 and it's as simple and easy as that. With decimal points, when you are multiplying by 100, you need to move two spaces to the right and when you're dividing by 100, you need to move the decimal point two spaces to the left. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video will help you. Please share and subscribe for more.